Hey, my name's Matt. I'm on day three of my raw food diet, and I thought I would make a video showing a recipe where you mix a shot of wheatgrass in with a glass of young coconut water. So, I was trying to think of a name for this. Um, I actually got this off of Dan the Man over at the Life Regenerator channel. Uh, he calls it a blood transfusion. I was thinking since uh, a Jaeger bomb is where you mix Red Bull in with Jaegermeister that I could call this a coconut bomb. <laughs> I'm not sure though, since you're mixing wheatgrass in with coconut water. But um, anyway, it combines the chlorophyll properties of wheatgrass with the electrolyte properties of young coconut water, which is a super healthy drink. Um, I'm using a hand uh, cranked wheatgrass juicer. It actually sucks in, suctions to the uh, counter. And this has a screen on it, so it filters the wheatgrass juice, and uh, the pulp comes out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just grab a handful of wheatgrass, cut it. I grew this wheatgrass myself. All you, all you need to do to grow wheatgrass is to sprout hard winter wheat berries and uh, plant the sprouts in soil. I'm just going to cut a little bit off here. And I'm going to feed it upside down into the chute and just slowly turn the crank and it'll pull it in there. And the juice comes out right here. I like to put my hand on the top of this just to make sure that it doesn't come off the table. Um, it comes with a clamp to clamp it on the table too, just for extra, uh, just to make sure it stays on there, but it doesn't really work on my counter. All right, not much is coming out yet. Um, I can smell it, but I just, I'm not getting much juice yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more. I'm using a knife just to get it as close to the bottom as possible because once you harvest a tray of wheatgrass you can actually let it grow another uh, again I actually have a video on how to grow wheatgrass so if you want to learn how to grow wheatgrass yourself you can watch my video on that Now you can buy electrical wheatgrass juicers where you just press a button, doesn't it, it does it itself. But these are considerably cheaper to buy the plastic kind where you crank it yourself. Someday I'll probably get an electric one. So you can see uh, it's coming out. The juice is coming out down here and it's being filtered through the screen. Got some pulp coming out and pulp is pretty dry. And I basically just want enough for an ounce, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut some more here. Put that in. I'm going to start to go faster now since it's pretty much got it. So there you have it, fresh wheatgrass. I think that's actually a little bit too much, but um, I'll just use as much as I want. I'm going to show you how to open a young coconut. Basically, you take a cleaver and you shave the top off. You just want to remove that part of the husk. You do want to go ahead and keep the plastic on because it's believed that they use formaldehyde as a preservative on the outside, uh, but the water and coconut meat are safe on the inside. And then what you do is you find a spot on the coconut that's pretty um, bare right there that doesn't have any husk on it, and then you take a cleaver and you use the edge of it just to give it one hard whack, and uh, you keep your left hand behind your back. So here we go. And you use the edge of the cleaver to open it. 
And that's how you open a young coconut. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a funnel and put the water in a glass. And as you can see, it folded up most of the way. So I'm going to toss this, clean up the mess, because I spilled some. And then, luckily I only used half of this for the first one because it was twice as much as I needed. So here's the other half going in this one. Alrighty then. Put the top on. Shake it up. And there you go. Alright guys, so here it is. I'm going to give it a shot. Mmm. That is good. At first, I can taste the coconut water big time. But then it's kind of got kind of like a little wheat grassy aftertaste. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I didn't put that much wheatgrass in there this time since it was my first time trying it. Um, wheatgrass is really detoxifying. It's kind of hardcore, so as you get used to it, you can probably put more in there. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.